I'm near the intersection of North Decatur and the 215 where Max Garcia was allegedly shot and killed by that security guard on Saturday night. His girlfriend tells me he didn't have a place of his own, so he would often stay with friends or with her, but didn't want to overstay his welcome. So he would leave and he would come. Most of the time he would come here where she says he grew up and where he felt safe. Last week he was staying with his girlfriend, but again, didn't want to be an imposition. So he left a few days later. He was dead. Three days after her boyfriend Max Garcia was killed, Lexi Gibson tries to put on a brave face. On Saturday, Lexi got the call. At first in disbelief, and I listened to the message again to make sure I heard it right. Garcia didn't have a place to call home. He stayed with friends and with Lexi from time to time, leaving after a week or so never wanting to overstay his welcome. He didn't want to feel like I was taking care of him. He wanted to prove to me that he could do it, you know? And that was where his pride came in. He never got the chance to prove himself. On Saturday, Garcia was allegedly shot after an altercation with a security guard. Lexi believes she knows why. Maybe the officer had went up to him and told him that he needed to leave, and he said, I'm just trying to sleep or something like that, and... Um, the security guard got his ego boost and just shot him. Garcia told Lexi he was only supposed to stay on the street for another week or so and then come back to stay with her if he couldn't find someone else to take him in. But he told me that when he got his stuff together that he was coming back for me. He would show up with a ring and, and I'd be his. Tonight, a candlelight vigil will be held here at Skinny Fats, uh, attended by friends and family in Garcia's honor. The security guard accused of shooting him has been identified as 26-year-old Brian Love. He's due back in court in August. Reporting live, I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.